Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. It is your girl, Butterfly. Guess what it is? Guess what it is? Time to hug yourself. Go on and hug yourself first. Oh, baby, do you know when we hug ourselves, we automatically produce a smile, right? The tighter we hug, the wider our smile. This is Work On and For Yourself Wednesday. How are y'all doing this morning? How are we doing? Guess what we're going to talk about real quick on this Wednesday morning. We're going to talk about giving ourselves permission to say no. Giving ourselves permission to say no. Not rudely, but in a healthy way. You know, we have to learn that it's not saying the word no. That's the problem for a lot of people. It's understanding that the word no is a form of peace. It's a form of tranquility. It's a form of you knowing that you cannot be involved in everything. No, I cannot show up. No, I don't feel like going outside. No, that's not the situation for me. No, I don't want a relationship. We have to have the power to say no. And not just being people say, no, you know, because then we once we do that, then everybody becomes defensive and then everybody have an attitude and all that. No, it's not an attitude. It's me showing up for me. Y'all, we, we are in times where working on and for ourselves takes effort. It takes us knowing our boundaries, our limits, our expectations of ourselves. We can't always look for other people to be satisfied with our decisions, right? If we always saying yes, 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 and then we don't show up, that's more of a disappointment to someone. Not only to them, but to ourselves. We've let ourselves down because we know that's, that's oh, you know, it's getting close. It's 2.30. I'm supposed to be here, but uh, I don't feel like it. Instead of just, when someone asks you a question, right? You invoke your power. And your power is, let me get back with you. If you're not sure, let me get back with you. We have a thing called calendars, date planners. We know if we have time to engage in whatever it is somebody's expecting us to engage in. We know if that environment is not for us. No, we don't have to go to the strip club. No, we don't have to go to Miami. We don't have to go to Miami now. <laughs> we might want to go, but we know when we go to Miami, we may not act right when we go to Miami. So, no, we don't need to go to Miami repeatedly, year after year. We didn't went. We didn't experience it. That's not my plight. Our ability to say no means that we are assessing this. Right here. Right? Because once we want to keep and we desire to keep this beating at a consistent pace. We learn that it's okay to say no. Permission. Give ourselves permission on this work on it for yourself Wednesday to say no. And say it in a healthy way. Knowing that your presence will not make or break that situation. Knowing that your opinion will not make or break that situation. No, you don't have to answer the question. You know, our girlfriends, they ask us questions. They really don't want to hear it. They just want comfort in that time. You don't have to be her comfort because maybe her situation don't require comfort. So if you're going in there and engaging in it, you, you, all you're doing is falling into the cycle of uh, trauma, toxicity, negativity. No, no, don't give your opinion. Keep your opinion to yourself. That goes back to yesterday when I teach yourself something new Tuesday when I was talking about just be a good listener. Just be, a, just be a good listener. We don't have to listen to respond. We can listen to just be listening. We can say no just because it's a healthy no. Just like we can say yes to a healthy yes, right? But at least we know that we are being authentic with us. I'm not going to show up to every empowerment seminar. I'm not going to show up to every book event. I'm not going to show up to every wedding. I'm not going to show up to every funeral. Because my energy, my time, and my peace is what I'm protecting. So it's no. 
and it's a firm no. And it's in a no that I'm okay with. See, we have to learn to do things that we are okay with. On this work on it for yourself wins, and that's what? Give yourself time to think about it. Process it. Right? I'm trying to learn to get back into the speaking world. And what I have to do is sit back sometimes and say, no, sit in front of the camera and take your time to deliver your message. Because, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I want the message is such a fire inside of me to, that is burning. It's burning. It's burning. But when I speak fast, people may not get my message because of my accent or because of my reflection or because I get tongue tied when I'm excited, right? So I have to sit back and learn to say no. You can't give it all at one time. You have to give it in a way that people will receive it. So your whole story and your testimony has to be refined so that it can fit within the time frame that you're delivering it. That's hard for me. That's hard for me. And remember, because I come in for me, I come in for you, I come in for me, and I come in for you. Because I'm not telling you something I heard, I'm telling you something I know. I've worked through it. And my something I know may not be for you. It may not be for you. You may say no to this message. But that's okay because I have a podcast that's called Life and Bullshit. And the premise of that is take what you need and leave the rest on the flow. So I understand that my message, the way I deliver it, how I make eye contact, don't make eye contact. The, all of those factors are reasons that people may not want to listen to my message because I am a fast talker. They may not like my accent. They may not like me. I don't know. So, you know, it's not me. The message could come from somebody else that they like and, oh, baby, they own it. It's okay for them to say no to sitting here for 10 minutes and listening to me. They may say she's very repetitive. I am. I'm repetitive because we need repetition. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. You know, it's a daily dose. It's affirmations. It's motivation. It's inspiration. It's encouragement. It's whatever you want to call it, but it might not be coming from the person that you want to hear it from. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to get offended by it because I have know that it's okay for us to say no, not today. Not today, not tomorrow, not a year from now. It's okay. And let's talk about these relationships for a minute. You know, we in relationships, men and women, you know, whatever your relationship is, you know. Saying no is a part of a...